the uh, Asian Never Enough Improv Summit Camp show. And this show, you guys will be the first ones to see this, and you'll also be the last ones to see this, <laughs> because the show will never ever be seen again, because of your suggestions. But before we get into that, I just want to ask you guys something. Uh, anybody, you guys have siblings out there? Siblings? No? Yeah. Brothers, sisters? Oh, OK. Anybody, uh, an older brother or an older sister? So you, so you guys probably understand where I'm coming from. I am an older brother, too, not a normal little girl, I would say. There may be a few screws loose up there or something. But she may be like a little normal little girl, but inside her soul is like one of those truck drivers that you would see on like the highway honking his horn and get mad at you because you don't honk back. He's like, honk! Hey, come on, honk back! But anyway, that's how her soul is. So like, we could be sitting at the table, eating dinner, and talking and having a nice day. Oh, and it's just beautiful today. And then all you hear is this. <laughs> and then everybody's looking around and like, what was that? Is there a bear in here? What is that? And then you see her in the corner, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> so, and we knew it was her. And then like the worst thing about it is that she has these these silent but deadly farts. <laughs> so that's that's why I'm silent but deadly, like it comes out like this. But then it, it burns when you smell it. It's like, you sniff it, you just got like, oh my god, what, what was that? And then she's still the type to be like, it wasn't me. Blame it on somebody that wasn't even in the room. But anyway, and also, like, when she, when we, like, we could be watching TV, and then this is the thing that really gets me. We could be watching TV, everybody's relaxed, and she's sitting down in a chair, and she just, like, scratching her stomach. And then this pops out. <laughs> <laughs> and just goes right back into it. So I'm just like, you know, I thought that the guy was supposed to be the dirty one in the family or like the disgusting one in the family, but it's the other way around for my family. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's, uh, I just want to uh, introduce the first comic for the night. Uh, you've seen her everywhere. She's been in many auditions. Put your hands together for Macy! <laughs> And so she, and so she, but she thought it was pretty funny. I mean, the, 
a woman with a bright red face is pretty funny to a five-year-old. So we expected nothing stranger to happen for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Turns out something did, seconds later. We looked out the window again, and we saw a guy imitating a chicken for his kids. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> no, no, we do not bounce around in furniture stores. I'm not taking it in the bed. Freeze. <laughs> I seem to have handcuffed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have the keys. I but... heard. forgot to tell you guys is that there's one rule about improv and that's the taxi rule. Yes. So whenever I or one of the actors say taxi, that no. shows, no. I'm, I'm getting to it you guys. <laughs> that shows that the scene is over. So when I say taxi, no. okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise, turkey and cheese. So when I say taxi, no. you guys will say yo. So let's try it. Taxi. No. Taxi. No. For the next comic coming to stage, put your hands together for Sam! Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Sam, and a few days ago I went to Central Park and saw mine. It was the worst mom you'll ever see in the history of the universe, if you were there. So anyway, he was on one of those big rocks, he tripped and he fell off the rock, in between two rocks. So it was just like...
Buzz. <laughs> I failed college! But, oh. Okay, so, can I have one more reason to celebrate? The end of the class. Birthday. Okay, so world's worst thing to hear, say, or do on your birthday.
this story. It involves all the actors, actors and actresses. But this game is, uh, you guys will give me a title. And these uh, actors will make the story and build on top of it. And then I will keep my hand on them. But once I take my hand off of them, they have to stop what they were saying. And I point to another actor or actor, actress. And they will start off from where they left off. So without further ado, can I have a fairy tale? Cinderella. Cinderella. And can I have your least favorite superhero? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. OK, so this is a story about Cinderella and Ant-Man. Like this. 
<laughs> then there's my grandpa. He likes to feed cats. So he put the sandwich down so Stone Gang could sniff it. My kitten. He had the meat. It was a meat and cheese sandwich. He hates cheese. <laughs> Lunch. 
he gives me food, takes it, and then takes it away when I'm about to grab it to eat it, and then says, psych or suck it. And so, um, and so one day in second grade, well, I was in the wall relaxing, doing nothing. Brandon, Brandon was doing, Brandon was drinking water, and was, and then I see the bully have this toothpaste cap. Now I have no idea where he got that from, <laughs> and because there's no toothpaste in school, <laughs> and so, and so he throws it at Brandon. He gets hit by it, starts crying. And then, and then the bully comes over to him and says that I did it. Now I had no business in it, and so then, so then he tells the teacher that I get in trouble and then lose recess for the next day. Um, that's my time. Give it up, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. comes down to this. The next game that we will be playing is a game called The Dating Game! So now, there will be three lovely bachelors. These fellas are trying to get their chest situated. Eat the wrong way! <laughs> so there will be three bachelors. And there will be one lovely bachelorette. And there is something wrong with each bachelor, and she's trying to figure it out. But she'll be able to ask them three questions to figure out, only three to figure out who they are or what's wrong with them. So we're going to stand here outside. People screaming the people Now that she's outside, this is bachelor number one. Bachelor number two and bachelor number three. Bachelor number one has a weird, weird obsession with somebody. Who does he, who does he have an obsession with? Like a celebrity. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, no. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Okay. So, Sam, you have a weird obsession with Justin Bieber. But useless. <laughs> okay. And Ethan, Ethan, he thinks he's somebody. Who does he think he is? Superman. 